What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went all the way through the Galar Caves, through Route 4, and finally made it to Turf Field, and, well, we have to find our girlfriend, Sonya, because, well, she has been looking for us. Now, we have to follow the Yamper. We have to find that Yamper, and, well, look at that. Yamper's right here. He's like, but work! Okay, so Yamper is uh, a little happy with us, and, well, look at that. It's it's waiting for us. It, it is a good boy. And bang wow wow, yippee yo, yippee yay, big booty balto is running up that way. Okay, so before we do that, let's go ahead and grab some items. We do love items, guys. Free stuff is the way to go. And here we found ourselves three uh, X attacks. And well, there could be a free item right there. But before we get to our girlfriend, let's go ahead and take a look, uh, get a lay of the land and all that stuff. And well, here we have a leaf stone. One of many stones that you'll be able to get. And such mysterious stone structures. Were they made by people or Pokemon? I kind of feel like they were made by Pokemon. And once we reach the top right here, here we have our girlfriend Sonya, and she's like, Thanks, Yamper! Bow wow wow. Okay. Alright. I had uh, I had you come because I wanted to hear you uh thought or your thoughts or something like that. I don't even know. Okay, so as you can see right here, guys, uh, that's a nice drawing right there. So, that Geoglyph, what do you think of it? Uh, Dynamax. It's probably Dynamax. Seems likely. It certainly looks like a gigantic Pokemon. I suppose people 3,000 years ago could have just imagined this, but it looks too similar to Dynamax. It can't be just a coincidence. A long time ago, a great black storm covered the Gala region. Giant Pokemon ran rampant, but what was the black storm they called the darkest day? What connection does it have to Dynamax? I guess I'm a lucky lady who will be looking into that. Grand sure gives me a lot to do. Thanks for all your thoughts on the matter. As thanks, I'll give you my lead card. And here we have Milo's lead card. It's not my it's not hers, but it's Milo's. Milo's a grass type gym leader. Things go will go well if for you if you use fire, flying, or bug type Pokemon. Take these two, I'm pretty sure, well, yeah, we will be getting uh, revives right here. Go on then, get yourself to the turf field stadium and battle yourself silly. And Yamper is just so happy to just see us. Okay, so because of that, now we are able to actually go straight to the turf field, uh, the turf field uh, stadium. So before we do any of that, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I need to do something very, very quickly, and that is heal my Pokemon because, well, we can't go in there, you know, all wounded and all that stuff. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are back, and we're fully healed and ready to go. We are going to be going into Turf Field, and, well, Hop is already waiting for us. He thinks he's going to be the Pokemon League champion. I, I, I laugh at that. That's, yeah, it's a laughable thing. So we're going to start off everything with Bex right here, and then move our way down to some of our stronger, or not stronger Pokemon, but just, you know, other Pokemon right here. Take a look at this, Draven. The grass type or the grass gym badge. I got it in one try. I reckon I'm about to uh, about the greatest when it comes to ra wrangling Wooloo. I've had plenty of practice af uh, at it after all, but I'm sure you can uh, win this one too. After all, you are my rival. Okay, all right. Well, I'm flipping you up, man. Don't care. Let us move on right here, guys. And uh, well, let's see. Here we are in Turfield st uh, Stadium. Now, if you guys have noticed this guy right here, if you find him in every ba every uh, stadium, he will give you a different kind of ball. Something, uh, well, a ball that you could actually find in only in Johto. This is the ball guy, and yes, he's going to give us a wonderful ball. And right now, we got ourselves a friend ball. This right here is a strange Pokeball that will make wild Pokemon uh, caught with, uh, with it more friendly towards you immediately. So, let's just say if there is a Pokemon that evolves through training or through through love and friendship and all that stuff, that's the Pokeball to go. And well, let's just get on let's just get on with it right here. Talk to this lady. We're going to register and get ready to go into the Pokemon Gym Challenge right here. And well, we got to change into our uniform. Come on, let's go. Get this uniform on and here we are looking like we're playing we're about to play some soccer right here. So, let's go right ahead and uh, get our very first badge. We kind of need that. We has to. We need it. Look at that. The logo's pretty cool. Let's go. 
So, take a look at this, guys. In Pokemon Sword and Shield, they really outdone themselves, and they really uh, acclimated themselves to the kind of like uh, the culture England or, you know, the United Kingdom would have, and that is their soccer or football uh, football uh, culture right here. Everything right here is, is soccer football related. This mission given by Turffield's Pokemon Gym is this. To chase our unruly Wooloo. Hmm. To that black gate we've made from our bales of straw over there. Okay. Alright. Oh, by the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as a referee and it's also my job to report the results of battles to the League HQ. Now, let's get the or let the gym mission begin. And, well, we have to actually wrangle these guys around. All of which, that you know, they all have to go the same way. And look at that. Everybody's going their same ways. And that's 15 in all. 20. Good gravy. There we go. So we got 20 out of 20. Now, you would think this is a little too easy. But no, eventually it gets a little tougher because you got Yamper right there messing everything up. And... Okay, so we got to really, really make our way right here because Yamper, they actually separate these guys right away. And, well, there's 20 for 20. And just like that, we get to the third and final level right here. Now, before we can even get to the third and final level, we have to battle this guy right here. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Sorry, but I'll have to send you packing. It's my job. Yeah, don't say. Okay, so let's go right ahead and start beating up on some grass type tra trainer right here. His name is Samuel, and he's gonna be coming out with a Gossifleur. A Gossifleur. Now it looks beautiful in the beginning, but then eventually when it evolves, it just like it, it just looks like a big old weed. That's what it kind of is. So here we go, flame charge for the win, and there goes Gossifleur. And well, let's see. That's more experience points for all of us. Shadow Blade growing levels, and yes, we have defeated Samuel, and he's like, oh, he just looks at us, he's like, okay, yeah, never mind, you you were pretty strong. And look at that, guys. Shadow Blade is evolving. Okay, all right, so we were expecting this. Another evolution, and would you look at that. Shadow Blade has evolved into Corvusquire. A very nice looking Pokemon right here. And, well, let's take a look at what Clover Squire has to offer us. So, it is the Raven Pokemon. Still a flying type Pokemon. Smart enough to use the tools in battle. These Pokemon have been seen picking up rocks and flinging them to, or using ropes to wrap up enemies. That is smart. That is very, very smart. Okay, so we got to make sure that we get these Pokemon away from Yamper. And, well, look at that. Look at that. Holy crud, what did I do? Let's go, let's go, come on. Okay, there we go, you see that, guys? That's how you do it. That is how you do it. <laughs> the Emperor had no chance whatsoever. So, let's go right ahead and battle another trainer. We kinda need to do that right here. And let them separate, it's all right with, it's all right with me. I wonder if your Pokemon want to use their moves with all their strength and feel great. I think they do. So here it is guys, another battle against Trainer Mark. And well, Trainer Mark right here is coming out with his Badoo. As many of you guys already know, I do already have a Badoo. Called it Rose Mullen and all that crud. Still need to complete that walkthrough, believe it or not. <laughs> so here we go, Flame Charge and Badoo has been uh, beridden, or I don't even know, it's eliminated or something like that. that. That was not good at all, but it is what it is guys. So there we go, defeated this guy. And, well, he's going to be coming out with an Oddish, so let's just continue on right here with uh, with good old Bex. And, well, Flame Charge, ready to go. And just like that, another Oddish has been defeated. And, well, Bex has grown to the level 23, and we have defeated Mark, so he's, <laughs> he, he's happy that, you know, we defeated him. Now we have to get to our... We have to get to these guys, and now this is going to be interesting because there's two, two Yampers, and okay, we have to get through this area right here. Holy crap, okay, so look at that. We can't do anything with these, oh, crud baskets, yeah, <laughs> you see? All right, get your butt over here. We actually, holy crud, holy, they get scared. Look at that. <laughs> 
Okay, so this is what happens when I get when I act a little cocky. So I have to get to those guys. Get the heck out of my way. Let's go. Come on. Two is something. So there we go, guys. We got two big old balls right there. And, well, let's see. Let's battle her. The gym leader lies ahead of you, but that doesn't mean that you'll be reaching him. Says who? Okay, so we're going to be taking on Leah. And she's coming out with her bounce suite right here. And, well, let's go straight for the Bex. And let's see what Bex can do right here. Let's go with the flame charge. Yes, that's it. That's been the story right here. Flame charge for the win every single time. And look at that. Speed has risen up right there. Okay, so no more bounce sweet. And, well, let's see. Coming out with an oddish. Let's go ahead and do that again. And, well, let's see. Bex. Flame charge for the win. And there goes Oddish. Okay, so it's another one down, and I do believe that, yeah, we get some experience points. We defeated Leah. So now the only thing left is to actually get our our Wooloos out of here. And, well, look at that. These Yampers right here, I, I think they stay. Oh, okay. So I think they stay still if you defeat the trainer. And, well, get your butts over here. Okay, so we got all the Wooloos. And we got to put them right towards this area right here. So that was probably a smart idea to actually defeat the trainer first. And, well, look at that. All... Okay, so we got 18. How in the heck? Okay, get your butts over there. Holy crud. Okay, so that right there is... Okay, that's enough right there. So we got them all. And they separate th themselves, and now we can actually get to the gym leader himself. Okay, alrighty. So, for future reference, make sure to defeat the trainers before you get on the, the Yampers. And look at this. We are getting up the stairs, and yes, we finally made it, guys. Peace sign! Gym mission cleared. Okay, alright. Alright, so this actually leads us to the gym leader himself. Now, before we do anything, we got to heal up our Pokemon because, well, they are gym leaders for a reason. So, let's see. Yeah, we got two potions. Holy crud. Okay, so. Oh, never mind. Okay, so our Pokemon are nice and healed. We are ready to go. And let's see what these guys are coming out with. Huh. Look at that. The pitch. I wonder why they call it the pitch. Comment down below, guys. Let's see. Look at this guy. He has no nose. He's kind of like Krillin. And he's got about six Pokeballs. I hope you have enough Pokemon to try and defeat me right here. He's a big old mother lover right here. My gym's first, uh, first, or my gym's the first one people face. So we get a lot of challengers. That's why I try to keep the gym mission challenging. But that didn't stop you from completing it, Draven. Proper job. Sure seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is going to be a doozy of a battle. I'll have Dynamax Pokemon, my Dynamax, my Pokemon, if I want to win. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon. Jesus, okay. Good old Draven's losing his ability to read. My bad. Okay, so here it is, guys. The very first gym battle, and it's against Milo himself. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his grass-type Pokemon. Remember, guys... Uh, Dynamax is part of this whole thing right here. So, as you can see, Dynamax Phenomenon. In the Gal region, Pokemon can become far larger than usual in certain places. This transformation is called Dynamax. You press the Dynamax button when your Dynamax band lights up to Dynamax your Pokemon. Your Pokemon can only Dynamax for three turns. During that time, your Dynamax Pokemon can use extremely powerful moves known as Max Moves. These max moves not only deal tremendous damage, they can also trigger special effects. The exact effect changes depending on the type of move used. Choose carefully when Dynamaxing your Pokemon and smash your way to victory. Okay, so we're not going to Dynamax yet, but we are going to Flame Charge right here since, you know, we're a fire type Pokemon and that happened right there. You see, one hit, that's the way to go. And yes, we are a little bit faster. And well, look at that. 
yes. Gain some experience points. And, well, he's about to come out with an Elder Gross. We're going to stay put right here. And he's like, we're not going to be done that easily. We're tough as weeds. Okay, so here comes Eldegoss. And usually the last Pokemon gym leaders here have are their strongest Pokemon, and they will Dynamax. So we're going to be Dynamaxing ourselves. There it is. Powering up our Pokeball right here. Going to have it grow right here. Look at this. So, yes, grow, grow, grow. And there we go. Bex. Ready to kick some Bex. Okay. No wonder they have stadiums in. Well, he's like, come on then. It's Dynamax time. You're about to be uprooted. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. He's like, okay, good boy. So he's a very peaceful. He's a gentle giant. He's a big old teddy bear. That's what he is. And look at that. A big old weed. Holy bejeebus. Level 20. And, well, we get to attack first because, well, yes. We had that speed advantage, and Max Fire is the game, and just like that, we hit it hard. And, well, that actually changes everything because the sunlight got, got harsh. And, well, here comes his Dynamax move. When you defeat, or when you take on different kinds of uh, gym leaders, they will have special kinds of Dynamax Pokemon, or Gigantamax. And, well, that was not effective, but this actually changes the terrain now to a grass field and it will actually heal up a, a grass that Pokemon including myself right here look at that okay so that right there was pretty that, that right there is beneficial but here comes the max flare and max flare does its trick right here look at that oh yes Aldegoss defeated explosion emotion and just like that oh yes yeah, so we get some experience points and well, Big Booty Balto learning Spark. So let's go ahead and take out Nuzzle because, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I think we already had enough of that right there. And, well, Shadow Blade grows to level 19. Michelangelo, everybody grows. And, yes, look at that, guys. Throwing out the peace sign. So there it is, guys. We have defeated our very first gym leader, Milo. And he's like, the power of grass has wilted. What an incredible gym challenger. And we do get lots of monies, which is great. And, well, here we have this guy. And he's like, that must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. As proof uh, as proof that you defeated a gym leader for the gym challenge, allow me to present you with your own grass badge. So there it is, guys. We're shaking the hands like a ring of honor. And bam, our very first badge in this big old circle thingy right there. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 25. You need to obtain all eight gym badges in order to complete the gym challenge. And the only way to gather the, the badges is to defeat every gym leader. Okay, all right. Okay, Challenger Draven, my most sincere congratulations on defeating gym leader Milo. Please accept this DM as to commemorate your victory. And here we have the Magical Leaf. And... Well, let's see. The magical leaf right here is the user scatters curious leaves that chase the target. This attack never misses. Here, you can have Milo's uniform to go with it. It's a replica, of course. And, yes, we get more clothes, which is great. And after defeating Milo, Milo's going to come up to you and be like, Some advice for you, Draven. The gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. So that means your next stop should be in Holberry to meet Nessa. Holberry's just beyond Route 5. Or since you've got the Grass Badge, you could head to the Wild Area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that are higher level than Pokemon that are on your team, but they make powerful allies if you succeed. Which is true, guys. But right now the idea is this. We have to get our, th our first three badges. And, uh, well first three badges can actually enable us to capture a lot more Pokemon and get uh, better rare candies if you guys know what I mean so yes we have defeated Milo and well let's see I don't think there's anything else that we can do right here uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our league uh, our league card right here that's where our badge is at right so here it is guys look at that we kind of fix it up and 
So, what happens right here is this, guys. Not only will your Pokemon obey you at a certain level, but you can actually capture certain Pokemon at a certain level. If you guys may have remember, we were at the wild area. We couldn't capture a level 27, uh, level 27 Onyx because it's too high of a level, which I think is a very good cap and a very good, uh, you know, a very good thing to actually have in Pokemon games. As you can see, uh, we got one badge, and now we kind of need to actually get some more right here. And well, we got three badges in all, or three. Yeah, three, three, whatchamacallit cards right there. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going to Route 5 to Holberry. So, I hope you guys stay with us right here. Comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Notification button. And if you guys want to make a small donation, the link is in the description right there below. I will see you guys in the next episode as we go to Holberry. See you guys.